Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another video. So, in the last lesson, we copied all the code we needed for the variables, the void start and void update. <clears throat> now, if we come back to the sp2 damage script, Obviously that has extra code in these functions and more variables, but we don't need any of those. However, what we do need is private on trigger enter. And we're literally going to copy everything down. Just remembering to miss that last close bracket. Otherwise you'll end up with an extra one. <clears throat> and we're going to paste that into our sp3 damage script so once we're here we're going to copy the variable current damage values 3 let's come down and as you can see we have one error in apply damage to head remembering of course to change it out in the comment and the same for s2 damage to body so with that done we're going to come back to these two functions and obviously we're going to change this to s3 damage for the head and body also so let's copy first apply damage to body and we find that in the on trigger enter and we just replace with the new naming convention we need to do the same for the head also so let's just switch that out and we're going to save that off there And we'll just give it a minute while it recompiles. And what we're going to do now is come to the player one script and let's open the player high kick. And we're also going to open both the punch scripts also. Now in player high kick we want to come to the void update if play one movement special move to active equals true return we're going to copy that and we're going to paste that into both of our punch scripts and of course we need to change it to special move three active So, of course, if you're using kicks rather than punches for this type of special move, you don't need to do this, but you do need to make sure that this if block is in the low kick script instead. But because I'm using punches, I'm going to make sure that it's in both punch scripts right at the very top of the void update and we're going to save that off there <coughs> and we'll downsize visual studio let's come to resources we'll open the prefab for the black robot and we need to find the punch in my case it's situated on one of the wrist joints so wherever you've put your punch scripts that is where we're going to put the damage script i'll just move that up so let's come back out of that prefab for a moment we'll come to resources we'll come back to it now we have a button combination target of 20. I'm going to change that to one. Now, this is just for testing. I will change that back, obviously. 
but it just makes it a little easier because now we only need one button press to execute the special move so we can test out exactly what is happening with it so let's let it run through as normal so the fight begins let's just test it out so it's executing the special move and it's returning and allowing me to control afterwards so that's good let's come to the opponent and we're going to execute that special move so let's have a look here so it's called the body which is hardly surprising because it's quite a swinging punch on my model it doesn't matter because we've got both in the script and of course I've got quite a large collider on there as well I could always reduce that but the point is we can move back and the game is still working we can still execute the other special moves so everything is now working now <clears throat> i say working with the special moves so we've done three now these special moves still need a lot of refinement as i said i'm going to have the third one interplay between two different punching animations really quickly that's what the plan is and I do already have a rough draft of that ready to go so the question I want to ask you the viewers is what do you want me to do next do you want me to carry on with the special moves and polish these up or because we spent a lot of time on special moves do you want me to do something else and then come back and polish up the special moves later when we've all had a break so that's one question and there's a second question as well do you feel confident once we've polished up these special moves creating your own for the other players or do you want me to go through and create unique special moves for each and every character so that's a question i'm putting to you the viewer and of course whatever your thoughts are please leave a comment and i will try and accommodate what you want me to do so I think we'll leave it here for now. As always, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.